to coordinateize the orbital, we have R of T to be equal to R naught cos theta I plus R naught sine theta theta G. So we have I here. I out, I plus this, and the distance, the distance traveled along the circle along the circle. In time t, t is v times t, that is rate times time. This is a rate times time, which equals, which equals, The circular arc length R naught theta, which implies that theta is equal to Vt divided by R naught. This implies that R so. This implies that Rt is equal to R naught cos theta is Vt divided by R naught I plus R naught sine Vt divided by R naught G. That is when you When we coordinateize the orbital plane, this is what we have. Then the second part is to be find the acceleration of the satellite. We have B C to be equal to the R D C, which is equal to so I have minus V sine. Vt divided by R naught I plus V cos Vt divided by R naught G. So this implies that A, the acceleration A, is going to be dV over dC. And this will give me minus V squared divided by R naught cos Vt divided by R naught I plus the differential of that is V squared divided by R naught sine so that is also minus here because if you differentiate course you are getting minus sine vt divided by r naught g and this is equal to minus v squared divided by r naught I have R naught cos Vt divided by R naught I plus 
R naught sine V C divided by R naught G. So this is the acceleration. So this is this will virtually give us minus V squared divided by R naught squared R of T from that because you know what's R of T is from here. R of T. So hence this is the acceleration of the satellite. Then the next is to find the force which is equal to MA and we want to prove that so C C we have F to be equal to M A. So this implies that I have force so I have minus G M M divided by R naught squared. I have R divided by R naught to be equal to M times A. We know what A is. A is minus V squared divided by R naught squared times R. So what do we have here? So I have minus G M. divided by R cube, R naught cube, M here cancels that, and this is going to be equal to minus M V squared divided by R naught squared. So this implies that our V squared is going to be equal to G M divided by R naught. So what happened? You realize that this and that goes away, then this cancels that, so you have one of that. So V is going to give us GM divided by this. So then we have been able to show that this is equal to that. Then the next part, D, we are saying that T is the time, is the time for, for the satellites. to complete one full orbit, one full orbit. So this implies that V T is equal to the circumference of a circle. So the circumference of a circle is two pi R notes. Then the last part, if we substitute, if we substitute V to be equal to 2 pi, 2 pi R naught divided by T, T into V squared GM divided by R naught. This implies that we have so this implies we have four pi four pi squared R naught squared 
divided by t squared to be equal to gm divided by r naught. So then our t, so this implies that our t squared is going to be equal to 4 pi. 4 pi squared r not squared r not cube because this will multiply that so r not cube divided by g m so what does this mean this implies that our t squared is proportional is proportional so proportional is directly proportional to r naught cube since this whole thing is a constant so since this since 4 pi squared divided by gm is a constant.